In the first video I did on foundations, I had said, love covers a multitude of sins. I want to go to the scripture that declares that, and then we're going to go back to Second Peter. So we're looking at Proverbs chapter 10, verse 12. Hatred stirs up strife, but love covers all sins. Okay. Thank you, Father. Lord said, before we go back to Peter, he wants me to go to John. So we're going to do that first. I've said many times to people, abide in Jesus Christ. And they said, well, abiding means believe. And I said, abiding means obey. So let's go look at that word real quick. To abide in Jesus. I'm going to read it. Are you ready? We're in John 15. I am the true vine, and my father's the husbandman. Every branch in me that bears not fruit, he takes it away. Every branch that he bears fruit, he burges it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I will I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit in itself, except it abides in the vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me. I am the vine, and ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. If a man abideth not in me, he is cast forth as a branch. It is withered. Men get of them, and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If ye, if ye abide in me, and my word abides in you, ye shall ask what ye shall, ye will. You, let me do it again. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my fathers glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. And this is my commandment. That ye love one another hath, as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends, if you do whatsoever I command. And what did he say in 14? Let's do it again. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatever I command. Henceforth I call you not servants, for servants knoweth not what the Lord do doeth. But I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known to you. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you, that you should go and bring forth fruit, that your fruit should remain. And whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. These things I command you, that ye love one another. If the world hates you, ye know it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hates, hateth you. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If ye have persecuted me, they will also persecute you, and if they had kept my sayings, they would keep yours also. Now I'm going to stop right there. That's enough. That was to 20. So the point is, when I had said that Jesus gave Peter the keys, it says he gave him the keys to the kingdom of heaven. So I took you over to Second Peter to read key points of the kingdom of heaven. And I want to read them one more time, because there's a little more I wanted to give. So... We were talking about, according to his divine power, I'm at 3, Second Peter 1, verse 3, according to his divine power, hath given unto us all things that pertain to, unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue, whereby 
are given unto us exceedingly, exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of, divi of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. And by this, by and besides this, giving all to diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, patience godliness, and to godliness brother kindness, and to brother kindness charity. For if these things be in you, and you abound, and abound, they make, I'm going to read it more time. For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off, and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Wherefore, rather, brethren, give in diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. Second Peter 1, 1 through 10. Thank you, Father, for clarifying what the keys of the kingdom of heaven look like and that we that love you will abide. Jesus Christ, Lord, seek him now. Shalom.